Good afternoon, everybody. I have a question for you. Who ever tried to touch the virtual object that was in front of your eye when wearing any VR or AR? Come on, raise your hand. Thank you. And actually, that's the first thing we tried to do even as kids, raise our hands and touch the things that are in front of us. And that's what we aim at, at Superb Reality. My name is Yoav and I'm one of the co-founders. These are some of the other team members in, or the leading team members in our company and we have an extensive background in building and taking millions of software licenses in gesture control and in other deep technologies. That's what we do. We work in previous companies with some of the largest companies worldwide in enabling hand interaction using a software solution only on any camera. On, that means on any glasses, on any phone, and on any device. So the way to control today any AR or VR device, there are different ways for that. The most common way is the controller. The other way is like gazing, moving your head, talking, wearing gloves, and so on. But all of them requires additional accessory or they are expensive or they are not natural as just tapping the menu that we see in front of our eyes or pinching the picture that we want to zoom in real life. So we put a full SDK software based solution that works on any device, low CPU, any camera and actually make all that happens for one and two hands using machine learning and with many different gestures. So here are some examples of the things that we enable. On AR and VR glasses, by the way, all the things that you see here on screen are real and you can come see them in our booth here just behind this wall. So in glasses, all kind of glasses, whether these are VR like the HTC Focus Vive on top or AR glasses like the Epson below, we enable, our software enables hand-free interaction and gesture control based on the camera that is out there. It's a 2D camera, it's a simple camera, yet it understands one or two hands in a variety of use cases, variety of gestures. Because think about it, on a PC we have keyboard and mouse, on our phones we have a touch screen. But how should we interact with virtual things that we will see everywhere? Few more examples that we have and I'll share with you is gaming, education, it runs on AR kit, AR core. Actually think about it like the mouse or the controller, but it's actually your hand. Again, this can support any use case. Phones, glasses, HMD device, social networks and interaction, selfie mode, front uh, facing mode, all these are already supported on our gesture platform. We even plan to release, and let me tell you a secret, in the next month prior to CS, we will be releasing a game, the first game, that is multiplayer gesture control game. It means that two people or more can play around the world using just their hands with the same Jenga bricks tower, just like you see happening in this case. This is a real video. One more piece of uh, data of technology that we developed in house is AR navigation pl platform and this is very much focused on glasses and autonomous car. This uses the brain power to follow the next visual milestone in order to guide us where to go and that's a, another platform that we developed in house. So comparing to other technologies, the superb reality is actually low cost, robust, and uses the existing hardware that there is. And that's the big advantage comparing to any other solution in the market. Few words about the company, established three years ago. We are experienced entrepreneurs. We already having revenues. We are working with some of the biggest OEMs, so our business model is to license to OEM, platform manufacturers, and device manufacturers. We won several awards 
and these are some of the photos. That's me with Vice, Prizeman, Prince, Vice President of China, winning some big uh, award last year, and some other awards that we won with this uh, patent pending technology. Thank you.